Sheriff's deputies out west say they have arrested a man who threatened FEMA workers. Rutherford County deputies arrested 44 year old William Parsons. Deputies say Parsons carried an assault rifle and made comments about harming FEMA workers in Polk County. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake joins us now with how FEMA is responding to the threats. FEMA said today it is not backing down. During a news conference, the agency addressed the threats briefly, but very direct. Well, we do want to make it crystal clear to all those in Western North Carolina that FEMA, the federal government, we're not going anywhere. We are committed. We're here for as long as it takes. And these types of centers, um, they're, they're really just a great resource to try and uh, get that assistance. This weekend, the Ash County Sheriff posted to Facebook saying there have been threats made against FEMA, but it hasn't happened in Ash County or surrounding counties. Just to be safe, though, Ash County paused FEMA while the threats were assessed. That pause has been lifted and help has resumed. FEMA plans to make some operational changes to keep employees safe, but no word on what that will look like just yet. The agency did say, however, disaster recovery centers will not be impacted. We visited a newly opened one today in Boone. In this particular county, we've had um, 4,121 applications thus far. And with the opening of this disaster recovery center, we're sure that number will shoot up. And so far, we've already approved um, almost $3.5 million. Wow. So that's money that goes directly to the individuals. Mm -hmm. When a disaster hits, counties reach out to the state for assistance. And if the state can't provide what the counties need, FEMA is sent out to help. If the counties tell the state that shelters are running out of supplies and the state tells FEMA and FEMA coordinates with organizations, businesses and suppliers to get what's needed. All of this comes after FEMA workers in Western North Carolina have been targeted with misinformation and rumors about the federal government's recovery operations. FEMA told us that the reason you might not see someone in a FEMA shirt helping out at a distribution site is because the items being distributed was brought in by them. The agency pre-positioned supplies ahead of the storm so it was able to get too easy and hand it out. Amber, thank you. Governor Roy Cooper's office responded to the threats against FEMA. The statement reads, we are aware of the significant misinformation online and reports of threats to response workers on the ground and the safety of responders must be taken seriously. The governor has directed the Department of Public Safety to identify with local law enforcement the specific threats and rumors and coordinate with FEMA and other partners to ensure safety and security as this recovery effort continues.